cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hey, good morning, everybody. I've got a casserole recipe that is one of my family's favorites. You've probably made something like this before. It's a tater tot casserole, and when it's cold outside and wintry, or you're just craving comfort food, this really hits the spot. Now, everybody has a different way of doing a tater tot casserole, and I have to tell you, I think mine is a winner. I take the time to actually brown up the ground beef. I know some people put it right in the casserole dish uncooked, but I think this makes a big difference when it comes to the flavor. So I've got two pounds of lean ground beef that I'm cooking until it's no longer pink and nice and crumbly using the old chop and stir, which we, works really great to crumble up ground meats. And then I'm seasoning the beef with garlic salt. I happen to love garlic salt. It's a great way to get garlic flavor in there without using fresh garlic. And some ground black pepper, freshly ground black pepper. Okay, so our beef is looking great. It's all nice and crumbly. And I'm gonna work on the sauce. For my casseroles, I like to have them really nice and creamy. So I'm using two cans of cream of mushroom soup. I don't think anybody likes a casserole that's dry as the Arizona desert, so I like to keep them really creamy, lots of gravy. And for some more really nice flavor, I'm going to add some sour cream. A cup of sour cream, you could certainly use light sour cream, but again, this is going to kind of take that canned soup to a whole nother level. Really make it tasty. And then some milk. And I'm just going to use a whisk and whisk the canned soups, the milk, and the sour cream together. And now we're going to start building our casserole. We've got a nice big 9 by 13 casserole dish that I'm going to spray with cooking spray. Don't want to be doing the dishes forever today. Our first layer is our ground beef. Just goes right over the bottom. And you could lighten this up, by the way, and use ground turkey if you'd like. And now I'm putting on whatever veggies your family likes. I happen to love corn in this dish, so we're using just some frozen corn that you don't even need to cook. Just throw it right on there. I also love a beans in my tater tot casserole, so we're just using some canned or frozen beans. I like to use the French cut, but just any type of green beans works great. But you can put in all sorts of different veggies. These are just happen to be my two favorites. Put in what your family likes. Then we're going to take this gravy, the cream of mushroom soup, the sour cream, and the milk. And carefully put that over the top. Just kind of spread it out without mixing it in. And then we're going to cheese up this guy. I don't think I ever met a casserole that didn't like cheese, so we've got some cheddar cheese. And last but not least, we've just got some frozen tater tots that are going to go right on the top. This is a quick bake. Everything's already cooked, so we just need to warm this through, crisp up the tater tots. I do like sprinkling a little bit of steak seasoning salt, like a Lawry's seasoning salt, over the tater tots before you bake them. It gives them some extra flavor. So come back with me. You want to bake this at 350 until it's nice and bubbly, and the tater tots get a little bit golden. The sauce gets heated through. Serve this with a salad, and you've got a great dinner. Everyone will love this. This is my fav one of my favorites, my way of doing the tater tot casserole. We'll put the recipe on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival of foods. Enjoy. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.